behind the scenes of streaming and uh, as you can see we have already with us uh, mr sudhir mishra where he doesn't need any introduction but let me just revive all that we know about him and uh, all that we appreciate and applaud him for he's a film director and screenwriter known for directing films including hazaro khwaish aisi dharavi chameli and in his 30 year career span he has won three national awards from the president of india he has recently directed the thriller web series that we all love hostages a very warm welcome to you sir and in this panel discussion we have with us zakaran anshuman who is a director and screenwriter of mirzapur and bangistan he is also the creator and director of emmy nominated drama film inside edge a very warm welcome to you too we also have with us uh, rasika dugal known for her roles in several bollywood movies we have recently seen her in mirzapur out of love i know everyone has been talking about made in heaven you've seen her there as well delhi crime and humorously yours a very warm welcome to you too it is in german we also have with us shreya pulgaonkar who is an indian film actor as we all know for her well known part in successful web series like mirzapur gurinder chadda's british tv drama beachum house and the film fan she will be next uh, seen at from this is something that has been shot from home as i'm told it's a lockdown thriller series the gone game action series crackdown and also a trilingual film hathi mere sathi with rana dugupati and anubhav sinha's film abhi to party shuru hui hai so excited for these upcoming projects for uh, shreya also we have with us anupriya goenka who is an actress a dynamic performer who has made her own space in the world of cinema with her distinct film choices she has starred in one of our favorite web series we all know her from sacred games right and also tiger zinda hai war padmavat the final call of hai criminal justice and asur and steering this very interesting conversation we have with us our session chair who is frezad palia head boot select youth and entertainment english entertainment wacom 18 channel a seasoned media and entertainment advertising leader with an experience of over two decades I don't see Frezad here yet, but Frezad. All right, I see Frezad now. Brilliant. Hello. So Frezad, I'm gonna leave the screen to you because we all are super excited. We might just uh, jump from our seats. So why don't you steer the conversation forward? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Kathy, and and thanks everyone for joining in. It's a it's a tough one to be uh, to be moderating. I'm, I'm normally never on this side, so <laughs> uh, so bear with me. uh such a such a super super panel and uh you know when you know when we saw the the topic of the panel which said behind the scenes uh of the ott world i think um you pretty much got all the the brightest shining lights of uh, the ott world uh on this panel so thanks for having us and um in the essence of time and i have uh, five lovely lovely people who i'm going to have to uh, dig a little deeper into um i've already requested them saying don't give us any answers which are already available on google um cuz all of you are very well known and people know all about you so uh, the onus is on them to to give us something that none of us know uh, so there no pressure um let's let's get to know them a little better and and how they got into this big bad world called uh, ott uh, as we know it which is over the top um i'm going to start with uh, somebody who i think has taken a pretty drastic uh, different step uh, while getting into ott and that's karan um karan you used to be a, a film critic with with mumbai mirror right so how's it now sort of being on the other side where at one point you used to um, critic people and now uh, you are being critiqued in some sense all for the better but how does how how's that change been for you Uh, uh thanks for having me guys uh so you know as as far as uh, when, when i was a film critic i mean I, i was always sort of a filmmaker to begin with i was always writing and uh, it was always sort of my dream to make films and it just so happened like you know becoming a, a, a reviewer for mumbai mirror just happened by chance and i just took it up because it was it seemed like a fun gig to do it just you know it, it was a gig for me to sort of get paid while uh, 
uh, watching movies. So you know, I can't for anyone who's a film buff. I think that's just a dream come true. Uh, I didn't, of course, count on the fact that ninety-five percent of those films would be absolutely terrible, and I can't just get up and walk out of the theater and I have to say it's good. All. Um, so I didn't really think that through. But um, the thing is, I think they're very different sort of. Uh, A job of filmmaking and film, uh, uh, writing about film or reviewing is pressing uh, on on how you felt about it at the end. It is definitely not reflective of the kind of work or the craft that goes into making any film, um, and it, it's it's not quite a fair comparison. So I and that and that's something like I think a lot of people sort of struggle with. Understanding that it's not really two sides of uh, a fence. It's you know some guy sitting in a you know theater watching something and uh, assim assimilating his opinions and thoughts on it and just putting it out. Because it happens to be uh, you know that you can reach out to large audiences with that and your opinion does affect things. But it's not I think fair for anyone any filmmaker to expect that uh, you know anyone who's writing on their film can you know possibly. Relate to what the journey is, or you know how the film is shaped up, or any of that stuff. It it has to be a very objective view, and you know filmmakers should really uh, kind of understand uh, that. So um, I so when I, I I guess now as a filmmaker when I read uh, reviews uh, on my stuff, um, I don't actually read a lot of reviews, but I read the reviews of people who have always respected sort of uh, you know. To uh, to my reviewing days, whether it was like a you know Sudra Gupta or none of that stuff, and and these people are some you know uh, uh, who are sort of respected opinions. So I, I always sort of look out for what they have to say about my work because I know that like really like it's it's what I expect of myself if I were to review my own work, and that's how I would have you know probably seen it. So that's just it. It's not. It's really. But how how do you how do you right? see and how uh, how do you see the world now that that. Um, that uh, everyone doesn't need to be in a privileged position to be able to make that review get across to many people uh, i spend many nights actually uh, getting a lot of learning from uh, some some pretty fun youtube reviewers um, you know and they have some some pretty awesome uh, nuggets in there and 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 someone like you who loves stories would would definitely be picking that up so so who do, who do you um, you know do, do you like following the the regular critics or or, or is this new new breed of uh, youtube reviewers sort of uh, getting under your skin at some point of time or the other i don't think i'm obsessed with any kind of reviewers or critics or anything of uh, like i don't really follow i read one or two uh, reviewers and that's pretty much it like that's that's my um if i really need an opinion because as a filmmaker you want to just go and experience things or even as as a film viewer like the idea is i don't watch trailers i don't want, I, i don't read reviews if 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 i like the sense of what a film might have to promise and I, you know i'm happy to go watch it and not have no anything about it beforehand i do enjoy uh, reviews that look at a sort of critically analyze films after i've seen them so i can sort of understand you know what might have gone in and i think that happens more with like uh, hollywood films or of uh, you know more global films rather than what happens uh, with uh, bollywood sure sure i'm not okay. able to hear karan very well is that a problem with everyone yeah karan i i think i think you need to uh, uh, maybe adjust your internet just a little bit it's it's gotten a little better than it was earlier though um but we we move to uh, to to sudhir now who obviously needs no introduction and uh, Uh, Sudhir, I think you're on mute. So uh, before you, yeah. Um, so Sudhir, you you did one of the uh, one of the first Indian originals, and and I love the way we we call it originals. There used to be a time where we used to say web series banana, and that used to mean, वो पचास लाख में बन जाएगा पूरा सीरीज. To now, uh, you know, uh, getting to a scenario where we are calling it uh, Indian originals, and, and you know, some others call it something else, and and so on and so forth um how has that experience really been from you for for you you know being one of the most celebrated directors in in the indian film industry to then uh moving and getting onto a format like hostages um 
what was really the the biggest learning for you? You know, I mean, I, I, you know, some there are some things that uh, exist. Uh, I mean, in, in the head before they are invented. So, I mean, long form storytelling for me was a bit like that. You know, I mean, in India we came to it uh, suddenly. So people said, "Oh, what the hell is this?" When Sacred Games came or something, you know, wow. But uh, you know, in the West it came more gradually. So with television became where the writers went, and so HBO came, right? And so OTT was just a change of the delivery system, but. Sopranos already existed. The Wire already existed. You know, I mean, so there's many people who did that kind of work. For me, I was, you know, waiting to do it, and Indian television wasn't offering. Suddenly, Amazon told me to do something called Government, where they asked me to help out on a series with the um, the AIB boys were kind of and Irfan wanted to do, and so I my job was to kind of mentor it a bit. I kind of did that, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, unfortunately, if one fell ill and you know, didn't, didn't, so I did what I had to do. But you know, we only could shoot half of it, and then unfortunate. But you know, okay. that got me a bit hooked to uh, uh, the the whole thing. Uh, I then sort of developed some things, and I wrote some things, and, and uh, you know, which I. Was working with Samir Nair of Applause, and uh, and uh, while this those things were being developed, uh, Samir asked me, "Why don't you look at hostages?" So I saw it, and I said, "Well, I mean, I thought maybe you know if I did because it's an already existing Israeli show, right? Hostages is a kind of remake." So I said, "It's good if I do it on a structure which already exists, and I'll kind of get it a bit more, right? You know, not because I'm." I am a filmmaker, and I've done many films. So I mean, I'm in that kind of habit. So maybe you know, I need to know whether I can unlock myself from those habits. So I found it great fun. You know, I mean, uh, I, I think it's you can elaborate on a lot of things. Anyway, I was a, a lot of people used to tell me that I make films like my film structure, like Hazaro, is a bit like a novel. Like Israel has multiple narratives, right? So I mean, supposing I went into the multiple narratives of Israel of all the characters, right? Then, you know, that would be a web show, right? So I mean, except that I coalesced them into one film and they came. So I, I found that very interesting, you know. And I and I I, I think I have my what I think of my structures, the stories that I think of, have a natural. And I like asides. I like developing a lot of other characters. I like ensembles. I the I, the reason why male superstars don't work with me is because my heroes are frail, and, right? They they they're, they're kind of softer guys. Manu Joseph said, "I'm a collector of frail men," you know. So so I mean, I I, I kind of like a smaller characters. I sometimes want to delve into the story. The side character interests me a lot more than the main character. You know, and that's the wonderful thing about about this storytelling. I mean, you see Better Call Saul, and and you know, I mean, you see all the characters, and you see some, suddenly Lalo emerging from nowhere. You know, I mean, and he takes so over the whole show. Is, is it a medium, Sudhir? Then that that is, that is sort of interesting you more than than a than a ninety minute or a one twenty minute. Uh, I mean, more I, naturally I, I, to your style. Everything interests me. What what is good is that you can do. There are some things that are organically suited for this. See, if you don't force fit, it's good. Some things are meant for a short film. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about about, about now. You have a short film idea, do a short film, right? You want to do a documentary series. Netflix offers you, and all the platforms offer you. Uh, Amazon, everything offers you. Even Hotstar, Disney, everything offers you such a lot of wonderful documentaries. You have now something called a wonderful documentary series, right? So I know America like I never did, and I know why Trump won, because I'm seeing all those documentaries, right? Sure. So, I mean, I I think it's wonderful. You can do what I mean organically, what you what you want to do, what the story that you think of. I mean, if it works, I think if you force it, something it's still wrong. If things are meant for two seasons, they should be done for two seasons. If it's just a limited series, it will be done for six episodes. If it's a film, do it like a film, right? I've yeah. just made Serious Men for Netflix, which is which is with Nawaz and it's based on a book by Manu Joseph. 
So I've just finished a film for a platform. I've done hostages part one, part two. I'm developing another series, right? Yeah. And I will make a theatrical film as well. Sure. I mean, I'll do what I think, you know, works. And I, you know, I mean, I think that's the great thing about now. <clears throat> No, it's it's it, 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 like you said. It's 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 an interesting time because it's opening up a lot of uh, yeah. storytelling formats for 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 everyone. And look at the characters that you can develop, right? You see something like Absolutely. Orange is the New Black. Look at those wonderful cast of women characters. Would you have ever have seen them? Would you have ever known about them? Would you have ever known those actors? Those those brilliant young act, women actors, female actors, whom you will never have seen. Who, who yeah. blow your mind? Who, who are that's as been, good as anybody is, in the world? That is, they're they're nickel that, that, that clearly is uh, five wild. times over, you know, right? You know, they look at those wonderful, all sorts of diverse, diverse backgrounds. Look at the, you know, flowering. You know, it's amazing. So, talking of diversity, then I go to our our, our next guest, and um, and that would be Rasika. So Rasika, it's it's been diversity unlimited for you, right? You've done uh, quite a bit of television. Uh, you seem to be uh, on a roll, picking all of the the very very good shows uh, and some phenomenal roles, carrying them along by yourself, uh, carrying shows completely, which 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 to my mind is is one of uh, one of the great things that that we've seen on OTT, right? I mean, you know all. Three of you, actually, Shreya, you, Anu, Anu, all, have all been able to carry series uh, purely on your on the back of your own shoulders, and and that's despite seventy percent of of the paying OTT audience being male and from the top ten cities. So, so, so that's testament. How's the, the cha how's the change really been for you from television to? Uh, to OTT and 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 uh, like I said, you played some diverse roles there, and I'm sure that you're itching to play or are already in the works and on playing some some truly uh, uh, unique roles there. So how's how's that journey been for you, and what's what's really been the the process that goes into it for you? Um, I wasn't really a part of mainstream television, so to say. I in fact uh, was a part of television shows which were. Uh, uh, which didn't have the highest TRPs and was sort of not the norm at the time that they were being made. I was a part of a TV show called uh, Powder, which uh, um, a film production house Powder. had. Powder, yeah. Uh, which was Yashraj's, one of the first few shows that Yashraj had made for Sony. And it was not a daily show, yeah. it was a weekly show. And it was um, a show which had a, a limited number of episodes. All of these things were uh, were not the norm in television at that time. And neither would the, were, were these shows which got TRPs at that time, possibly because of these reasons. I don't know why, but now now Powder is on Netflix, for example, and I always thought that it was um, a wonderful show. So I've not been a part of uh, uh, mainstream television, so to say. So I don't know. Um, the series format, in fact, is, uh, uh, is more recent to me with the coming of the OTT platforms. Uh, right before that, I was more a part of uh, independent films, uh, which were... Uh, which either didn't get released or got uh, releases which were very, very poor um, and didn't get the screen timings or, or the number of screens that would give a, a small film a fair chance. So that was mostly what I was doing before uh, OTT platforms uh, came and saved the day for me. <laughs> and, uh, um, and also, I mean, I think with, uh, with Mirzapur, I started with Humorously Yours, a show for uh, the viral fever. Uh, then uh, Mirzapur, Delhi Crime, and then Out of Love. So I've had an opportunity to work with uh, many platforms. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's given, uh, what I find really interesting is the, is that it's broken the myth that, you know, audiences only want a certain kind of content and uh, that there, is, that there isn't a possibility of multiple genres to coexist and be successful. So the, uh, suc the success of something like Made in Heaven and Mirzapur is testimony to that. So I'm very happy about that because I used to constantly feel that way about it, but something that would constantly be thrown at independent film setups or people who largely worked in independent films was, aapko pata nahi ki audience ko kya chahiye. Um, sure. So uh, actually as an actor, I don't know what audience ko kya chahiye. And I'm not sure if 
my character graf and asur was of a girl who is traumatized throughout so i was very worried that she would just keep crying all the time and that was a worry with me but then we kind of got me to uh, say yes and i love the concept i met unir and i really enjoyed meeting him and i loved the how the way they had you know the way they had com- combined mythology with a thriller psychological aspect which is quite novel so <laughs> all through my uh, you know shooting process in uh, asura i used to keep troubling on him actually <laughs> like i used to keep uh, teasing him that of course i need to cry again of course you need tears again and he would be so shy to say that you know yeah yeah cry a little first first take he said no 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 you don't need to cry and then he'll come back to me and sit by my side like you need tears right <laughs> and he was like yeah <laughs> so but then uh, i really enjoyed shooting with him for sure and yeah. the whole process uh, because the cast was really amazing and when i watched it in fact i was very proud of the series because it is something which has been very uh, crisply done you know the content is very new and it's been handled very well so yeah i mean i think uh, that was a i mean the pride factor was quite you know fulfilled. all the tears all the tears paid off <laughs> yes you can say that yeah and to you uh, shreya uh, we believe you've been rather busy during the lockdown uh, period while most of us have been sitting home and and trying to read scripts and so on and so forth how is you know you're not just uh, sitting at home because i was busy with your show <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for that plug again <laughs> yeah it's no, been no 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 i'm kidding it's been a good uh, 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 as you had mentioned earlier that it's been a good uh, sort of experience uh, to try and creatively engage yourself in a time like this and of course as actors we don't want to get used to this you know because mm-hmm. it's not easy i'm sure rasika will uh, agree to this shooting uh, remotely um and uh, doing everything by yourself as actors we have always we have gratitude for people we work with but now the gratitude perhaps has exponentially increased Please. when you have to sit and do everything you know and um this is exactly where uh, sort of the joy of having streaming platforms comes in because if that wasn't at play today i don't know if we'd be able to create something um with um, and something not half hearted you know something which people can actually watch irrespective of pandemic or no pandemic you know keeping that aside so it's been interesting yeah yeah and and that that brings me to my next question which i'm going to throw open to to all of you which is that you know the whole world has changed normally we you know the the six of us would have been sitting on a on a stage in a banquet hall and doing this uh you know we're sitting on a um, on a video call and 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 doing a sort of a webinar and a a panel um it it seems like everyone's pretty certain that the entire game has changed where the way you shoot how you shoot what you shoot uh the way it, things are being written now because of fears that uh you know there's a whole new normal uh that that is come about our lives really um so how do you see how do you see the medium term panning out where productions uh and roles and everything else to do with even you know for example karan are you writing differently uh for for something that may be coming up in the in the near future keeping constraints in mind uh and so on and so forth so uh i want to throw that open uh, to you guys uh well okay i'll go first but personally i i am not really writing differently because i feel uh, you know we're going to get over this and knowing the way we operate uh, i don't think any kind of you know we, we can all pretend that we're going to take a lot of care while shooting and all and of course we're trying our best but it's at some point it's going to go you know Uh, become rather loose and i am not sure that uh, we're going to be able to um, i i don't think writing for a situation like this you know is is uh, something that should be looked at in a It's tough. I, in fact yeah. some of the i'm writing some of my most ambitious uh, projects right now uh, in this in this time i've had because you know one, a one has so much more time to just sit at a desk and keep writing and you know which is really for me the most satisfying best uh, part about film making um and just the idea of uh, you know restricting yourself because of something that is going to blow over eventually um 
is 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 a bit silly according to me so yeah in the medium sure. term if there are projects that need to get on and you know or are starting up right away i'm sure there is some thought being given to that but i'm really not uh, looking at it that way sure and 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 for you uh, uh, shreya rasika anupriya does does it does it worry you that uh, you know there there's there's a risk to get back onto set whenever that is or or do you have a different mindset and you know which is that enough is enough and and you know we just need to get out and 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 deal with it as as best possible well i yes sorry okay. continue so i think that finally we need to get going and figure ways to you know work around this condition i mean life can't stop beyond a point and uh, many people are dependent upon the film industry for their livelihood so sooner or later i mean the sooner it gets started it's better that way and for that of course there'll be a little bit of fear we have to exercise a lot of caution and follow guidelines but beyond a point uh, i at least i don't operate from fear like that in terms of you know uh, thinking that the worst will happen it's i mean sure. we can only be sure of ourselves and be very responsible and trust each other also like i'm asked this question quite often these days that whether actors would now be uh, afraid and uh, skeptical of doing intimate scenes i feel probably we would try avoiding them as much as possible in the script or maybe push them to maybe another month or so when people are producing a series or a film or whatever but after uh, a certain point or maybe if it is really required then we will do it and right. it's full trust and uh, you know faith in in each other and and just go sure. with it sure sorry shreya you were saying something no i was saying something on the similar lines that i happened to do just one or two one day shoots during this time period and um, of course the crew is downsized for sure but uh, people seem to be taking that precaution now for how long they'll continue to do that i don't know um, also another aspect is i feel we can't entirely be selfish i know we're dying to get back to work we want to go on set but if the numbers don't reduce i feel like if it's not immediately necessary and if it can be extended then maybe you know project to project everybody has to take that call with some sensitivity just considering the whole scenario yeah and so sudhir given that you know the old adage of of the show must go on um do you see newer formats evolving during this this medium term till effectively there's a vaccine and the vaccine plays out all right and so on and so forth yeah i i i think some of us old horses don't know how to do things differently right so i mean i don't know how to write for this time right i mean i'm writing like karan is saying you know like i i don't know how to shoot for time maybe technologically some young wiz kid will tell me here sudhir this project of yours you can shoot it like this take these shots separately we'll composite them i mean maybe if it goes long enough maybe we'll have fine solutions like that but there are two aspects to filmmaking you know there's this it's also living for a lot of people it's it's a there's a lot of it's a daily wage workers who need work there are a lot of assistants who need work so i mean i think younger people and newer format should happen in the meantime so that people can work right, right. it's it's also also you need software you need things to put on right yeah and and so i mean i i think a lot and a lot of people are shooting i yes. i don't know whether i'm supposed to see it say that but a filmmaker i mean i have a lot of assistants who are now bigger filmmakers than i am i mean commercially and all of them are telling me sudhir i'm shooting i'm sure. doing this show i'm doing that show i'm shooting from august so a lot of people are right no shoot no shoots have opened up with with August, all of the August, all taken. projects are starting that i know of and pretty big ones right so i mean i and i hope they're careful i hope they have insurance i hope they know what they're doing um i am thinking of starting a shoot in january okay and by mm-hmm. which time by which time i think mm. i'll have written everything by which i think whatever but i have you know i'm working for people who kind of understand that and i have a great relationship with samir nayar who's a wonderful you know understanding not so i mean so he we have been working together on two or three projects where you know we'll do it right but i can understand the problems of people who want to come in and work yeah to start because there's you know there's this people holding on to units 
there's daily wage workers there's there's yes, livelihood it's livelihood for guys people. not being able to pay rents there's young assistants you know yeah. you know how long can you hold on i mean all my my assistants are writers mostly i turn my assistants into writers right so i work with them so most of them have work now you know because we are writing so yeah. just a pure technical assistant what does he do many of them gone back home Sure. It's it's a it's a tough one, you know. There's, 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 but I think I'm not going to change my methodology. I, I, yeah, no. It's, I, it's, I, I think it's it's, it's, it's also, and I'm going to do it well because it, that's another problem, you know. I mean, you, there's a certain standard that's now being set. Yeah, no, no. It's 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 cha- it's changing, and I think uh, what's what's happening the world over is mm-hmm. is people are finding different ways to to. to make sure that uh, that content does get out and and that quality will also keep uh, uh, getting better as 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 we go but along there's a lot of film shoot, there's a lot of film shoots that the bigger film shoots some people are going to scotland i hear yes i i hear there's some people there's a lot of places i think thailand has a very few cases so i mean a lot of people ad films maybe going there advertising yeah. might be going there i mean yeah. most of the eastern countries seem to have handled this vietnam taiwan south korea they seem to have handled it really well the covid crisis so a lot of people may be going there yeah no we'll get there as well i'm pre- pretty sure we'll we'll, yeah, we'll I mean, all get there yeah. everywhere 10 states have a problem maybe there are places in, in india where you can shoot for yes. example hattisgarh for example goa for example there's a lot of yeah. places where you could go there are options uh, there's a whole unit that's going to udaipur or jaipur one place that's going to yeah. stay in a palace and shoot in august So I mean, they're figuring out ways where you know smaller units will go and park themselves in one place. Everybody tested, you know, nobody sure. moving out, and you know, and being careful about food sure. and props and things that come. There's also a lot of innovation that's happening because of yeah. this, and that's a good thing. And I hope that stays like you know, like yeah. just remotely being able to do a lot of things. Like I'm hoping, like you know, meetings for uh, silly things are a thing of the past, and you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> such a waste of time with this getting that we learned commuting like for stupid meetings is like the i just hope that just stops you know and like this is it and uh, even like post like there's so many things you can do uh, we're just trying to figure out like how to stream like you know uh, sound mix into and and just do I, it. I i've just mixed my in fact i've done my entire post to serious men and host hostages in yeah. this time yeah that's i've really great. learned a lot you know we have dubbed with nawaz being in his village Mm, exactly. Right. We have exactly. mixed. We have mixed with those the two recorders being in their studio, and I in my room, and the others being in their house, and then we've kind of. It's so taken a bit long, you know. But the pla- if the platform helps and everybody helps, then you know. I mean, I think there is no way to. It takes slightly long because again, you might yeah. be one of the first few people who have done it, but eventually, yeah. you get a point of efficiency where you should not have to physically be at studios. You don't have to physically be at Reki's. Like I think that's an amazing waste of time. Like you know, yeah. spending, like. Yeah, I dubbed for suitable boy from home. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. So, okay, I mean, so good. So, Nawaz, so 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 everyone's been doing stuff from from home. Nawaz, Nawaz dubbed stuff. from home. Nawaz dubbed from home. Swanan Kirkere sang from home. You know, all the actors, serious men, and hostages. Whatever the dub dubbing that happens, hostages too. I'm talking about, which is also ready. Is mm-hmm. is was all done. Well, Basically, the internet connection has to be amazing at this point. <laughs> the Wi-Fi has to be a savior. <laughs> like it is on this call. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay, so I'm 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 being sent a countdown timer on time. So I'm going to try and and ask you guys a last round of uh, of questions, post which we need to uh, to hand over because there's a nice big award ceremony that's happening after our panel. Um, I w- I w- I want to uh, you know. you know for for the people viewing us at this point of time um you know it's been a very good start for the indian ott industry uh there's been of course events such as the corona virus which have been catalysts in 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 driving adoption much quicker adoption of of the space uh especially paid subscriptions and uh, you know what we call the sword players uh what i wanted to ask each of you um is where do you see the trend for the kind of content in the next 24 months we've seen a lot of crime we've seen some breakout shows like made in heaven like you mentioned 
Um, what's the next bastion to cover? Do you see things like horror and so on and so forth uh, making uh, their sort of debut on OTT or any other trends that 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 you may see? Uh, I'm going to request you guys for a for a, for a precise answer in the interest of time, uh, and then we can sum it up. So, Karan, do you want to start? Um, yeah, sure. I think you know what Rasika you were saying in terms of you know being uh, original and trying to push stuff out and you know working in a symbiotic relationship with a platform is all very good. But there's a lot of data sort of coming in, and you know I think it's just going to be start. You know, there's going to be a point where they're funneling everything into. Okay, we need this, we need that. So before that happens, like I, I you know, personally, I want to just push the boundaries of a, every kind of genre that I can possibly in that time, and uh, you know, experiment with new things and uh, sort of try and and see, because we we need to as creators sort of open up the you know the amount of uh, stuff we're looking at in terms of subjects and things and stuff that we haven't had enough of is where one should be uh, focused on, at least I am. I, a lot of people, uh, you know, like to follow trends and things. So I'm, you know, that's where I am sort of focused in trying to do genres that we haven't seen a lot of in uh, on, 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 the, on, on streaming. But... Uh, sounds great, yeah. yeah. That sounds great, yeah. What about you, Rasika? I don't know, actually. I, 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 have, I haven't really given the thought to what has not been done already. I'm quite... Uh, I, I can't think of anything which is not on OTT platforms. Like what genre would you say, Karan? Which is I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you for that. Don't worry. I, that I, <laughs> I really like to know what is the genre that's not been explored. Sci-fi, I don't think has been explored too much. Sci-fi comes to my mind immediately as one thing that has not. Am I right or wrong? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely right. Because we've never had the uh, technical know-how or the budget. You know, I, 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 I kind of hope that the OTT platform doesn't make the mistake of saying is filmmaker ko ab sudharte hain. Or is se ye banwate hain. <laughs> there is a natural proclivity that filmmakers have. So what is interesting about it, OTT is that there is this window where all sorts of things are available. Right? A guy goes to a platform thinking he likes this, stumbles upon that and develops a taste for this. Right? That's the wonderful thing about OTT. You can find a film anytime you want. Right? So I hope and then like in films, I disproved it with hostages, but supposing some guy kind of is less popular, it, obviously, maybe he gets a lesser budget, maybe some guy gets a bigger budget, but all sorts of things should happen. So yeah. I think that's the wonder. You should explore all genres because you have an audience, how do they know what do they want until you don't, um, because otherwise it's the same old Friday thing, no? Yeah, that's that's what exactly that. what platforms need to break in a big way. I mean, yeah. I don't know why we're still restricting ourselves to like two hour films or two and a half hours. What yeah. is the time frame? That's something so uh -huh. you know, based in uh, history and you know, with, which you're limited by you know, uh, directly proportional to like to the size of your bladder, right? Because of as Hitchcock said, like, like, like Katia Bars, for example, is a documentary film. Supposing it was a documentary series now, I I'm sure it would be very popular. So, suppose, supposing you did, you know, uh, I mean, there are all sorts of things that you could do. And I mean, I'm not saying that the rules of filmmaking uh, that you don't have to make them engaging, that you don't have to. I mean, there is there's those rules, but you know, I'm, I'm I think that's yeah. I but if my film or your film is 40 minutes, and uh, that's all I need to do, and yeah. I, you know, I, do, I should not be forced into making one whole show out of it, or even a you know feature length film. I mean, so. That you as a platform, you have the capability to just accommodate something. So anything from like zero to you know ten hours, and, and you know it's about how long that story should sure, take to naturally, build. organically hold. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I I, th I think that that platforms will allow for that, and and I you know like like we were all discussing. I think uh, in some it's effectively differentiation that will will really make one platform stand out uh, from another. And, and I think, I think platforms are that's what. I think they're doing it. I mean, I think you exactly. see Amazon, yeah, Netflix, right. you see Sony Live, you see uh, Hotstar, you know, you see everything, you see Hotstar, Disney, you see, you see all the platforms have a variety. And I hope they stick with that. And I hope don't these, you know, statistics don't come into play, you know. There are all sorts of things are, and I think people are slowly, give it time, you know, people are, you know, 
evolving. Let's, let's say, you know, for so many years, you've given them so much crap. Right? <laughs> it takes a little time. But I think people younger, give the young a little chance. They'll, they'll, they'll come up to it. You know, instead of saying, no, 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 Hindustan mein to aise chalta hai, idhar aise star hai, fala star ke bachche hi star. Ye, 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 so, I mean, I hope OTT doesn't get into that. I think the audience, the audience will, the audience will become not become a star. No, I mean, the biggest show. breakout star in the last six months has been Jaydi Balawat, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Exactly. As, as actors, in fact, that is... Uh, my worry or concern that I hope this doesn't transition into a space where social media numbers are looked at to cast actors or again you go back to the same thing because slowly I am noticing that that is happening now. I tell you, Shia, on behalf of at yeah, least every principal director or creator, no one looks at any social media numbers. I am hoping that's the hope. That's the hope as actors but I have... Uh, been in situations where I have had these back end conversations, and that is the only disheartening thing. But the good part is that I'm, looking, I'm, I'm talking to platforms and I'm talking to everybody. Nobody is now insisting on cast. Okay, that, that's right. Uh, most of so. people are saying cast right. That, most people are saying that's, that's amazing. Also giving, that's also giving actors the wrong message. Also, that, that directors, and, directors and creative producers and writers have to. Thank God, I don't have to do an Instagram post. <laughs> and and Fezad, if I may add, um, you know the uh, amazing part is that even if the critics have not written the best things about a show that you've done online, but it finds an audience. People yes. will watch it. Good, bad, ugly. People are going to watch. They're going to write to you, and this is where you feel hopeful that every actor is able to, with whatever, even one scene. You're able to be noticed, and in fact, strangely, that ends up helping your film career also. You know. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, 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 I no, add one thing. Yeah. I I just hope that the writing is given more time. You know, like there are a lot of good there are a lot of good series that have come up and are being made, but a variety of them are still hurrying up that process quite a bit. And I still think that sometimes think we, subsequent we writing very <laughs> unidimensional characters. You know, the lead writing, the lead concepts haven't really kicked in as much as they can. Like I was reading some stuff post pandemic and I had huge hopes that now with people having four months to themselves, we we see some great writing and, you know, great concept. The concepts are good, but again, they are not woven nicely. It's not very well placed. And it's, I mean, yeah. it's good, good that a writer and an actor is saying that and I hope producers and platforms and everybody is listening. Because so. the people are hurrying things. Yeah, and that's people, always the problem. Problem. And, but, but a lot of uh, the good, better platforms, the better producers, when I work with applause, I will, I've been given a year to develop something now. No, that a year, year. right. So, you I mean, uh, when I work with some people. Some people are, you know, I mean, and I hope those people stick by it. And I think some platforms are also doing it. You know, I mean, for example, on Netflix, when I worked with uh, with Netflix on uh, Serious Men, I mean, we took about eight months to finish the script and uh, a f- script that has already written once before we submitted. We yeah. took eight I, months, to, you know. So I mean, I I think that's that's. Uh, Wonderful. I think we got to take heart from the fact that that you know earlier you would be asked to develop something in in two weeks. The very fact that it's got to four months, five months, six months, eight months, in some cases a year or two years, is actually uh, is is actually a great sign yeah, uh, because yeah. that 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 is effectively going to essentially drive the way content gets made and the quality of content that gets made with with fantastic writers such as Karan being given enough time to write and experiment and 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 do things. So you know, again, you're have to... additional proclivity. See, some guys write quick. Yeah. Yeah. Some guys, yeah. are, you know, it's it's just the natural. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the process path. of development. Not just, not just the, the, you know, it's just. I'm not saying only writing, so I'm talking about the entire. I'm talking about the entire development yeah. process yeah. till we actually uh, hit the floors. Is is yeah. is now sizably uh, expanded, which 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 holds well for 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 the entire industry. Yeah. So, going to have to leave it over there. Thank you guys very much. Would have loved to stay and and uh, talk a lot more. Um, but uh, thank you for, for an amazing session and uh, always good to see you guys. Back thank to you, Kathy. Great to see everyone here. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
uh, ladies, I would love for you to just go through the chat because a lot of compliments coming your way. Uh, thank you, Karan, Sudhir, Sir, Farzad, for this very, very interesting conversation. It was wonderful having all of you here. Thank you for your time and your insights. Thank you so very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.